Okay, now I've got my Power BI interface here and I'm looking at my relationships window. Uh, I can very, see various things and options here. So I've got, uh, let's uh, have a quick look. So this one here I can use for visualizations. So if I want to do charts, etc., I can click on that button and see the various charts I want to do. Uh, this one here, let me just try that with a rectangle. There we go. I could use to access my data. So if I want to use, uh, maybe create new muck around with the data a little bit, go into Power Query, have a muck around and mash the data up, then I would use this data view there. And this last one here would be the relationships window. So in that window, I would forge or change the relationships, just like the window that you can see I uh, have here. Excellent, so just in a nutshell, uh, that's the first one here is the visualizations just here. The second one, is the data so if i want to mash or change my data here and then the third one uh let's do that as blue shall we will be our relationships window so get familiar with these three uh, all of them are only available on um, the desktop version if you're using the online version the the versions um that that would do is this one here uh the visualization one brilliant that's good so let's just zoom back so you can see the full one so i'm just going to go to my data window and I can see all the various types of data and over here on the right hand side I've got four tables available if you want to know how to import your tables then you can do so by looking at the get data video which is also part of this power bi series so the first thing I want to do is edit to the query so I'm going to go to the dim products because I've got a lot of different types of product names if I just scroll along here and if I just zoom in a little bit so you can sort of see just zoom out a bit you can see I've got English product name I've got Spanish product name French product name uh, you know and as I go across as well if I just uh, zoom out a little bit and as I move across you can see when it comes to things like descriptions of the different products I might have to scroll down so it makes a bit more sense here we go there we go so all of the description I have a Chinese description I've got an Arabic description a Hebrew description so I think you will agree here that these are all superfluous bits of data we want to remove them so how do we do that well I want you to go you to go up I want you to click on this button here it's the edit queries button so it's just here this edit queries and in particular we're going to click on that drop down list as well so if you click on that we're going to go to edit queries and it will take it, us into our query editor so here's our query editor that we can see in our window here we can see our various tables again we can click on the various tables on the left hand side and change it so say for instance I don't want to include a particular field within the query editor so let's go along and see if we can find a field that we need to remove um, actually we're in the dim product table here so let's have a look at one of these foreign language fields here we go so Spanish product name it's really not necessary uh, for the data model so I'm just gonna click once on it and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna click on this button here which is remove columns so that's to remove the columns so I'm gonna click on remove columns and then we can see that the Spanish product name has disappeared fantastic so I need to get rid of the French product name as well so I'm gonna just click on the drop down list and I'm gonna choose remove columns just be careful with this drop down list not to uh, choose remove other columns yeah don't be choosing that one there uh, I'll do that in red so you can remember that so don't be choosing this one uh, otherwise all the other columns will disappear so you want to um, choose the remove columns so that button there is what we want to be clicking on so remove columns and then French column name has disappeared so if I scroll on a little bit more until I find the descriptions and you find that there's many different description here so I've got the English description that's fine uh, for the dim product just notice uh, there we go that's a lot of these are null 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 until we get here but there, there are descriptions there so I don't want the French description I'm just going to scroll along I don't want the Chinese I don't want the Arabic so what I'm gonna do is go all the way across to the last language which in this case is Turkish I'm gonna hold the shift key down on the keyboard and click on Turkish and you can see that all of these columns here are selected on my screen you can see that they're depicted or highlighted in yellow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on remove columns and you can see all of those columns are removed. Now just one thing to highlight or just to note when you're using the query editor here and that's over on the right hand side where it says applied steps. 
So in this applied steps section here, you can see that there are three steps that I've done there. So three steps. So the first, no, let's just zoom in again. Oops. <laughs> so the first step we've got here is the source step. So this is where we actually got the data in. And there's a little cog to the right hand side. I can click on that and change the options to the source there. The second step we have um, is the one for navigation, which is I just moved around. I can click on that cog and change that. And then the last step, as you can see there, is the removed column step. So if I want to undo a step, i.e. I've mistakenly removed the columns and I want to get them back, you can use this applied steps box to undo what you've just done. Let's give that one a go, shall we? So say, for instance, um, I accidentally removed the columns. I'm just going to close off the removed columns one, so that deletes it. And if you look back, um, you can see that my columns that I had removed is now back. So there you go. I've got my Spanish product name and my French product name there. And if I go all the way back there, I have to the descriptions. All my descriptions are back there. So you've got that option there. I believe I can just undo. Uh, can I undo? Nope. So I'm going to have to just redo that. So let's do that again. It'll be a test for your memory. And mine as well there we go so we're gonna to go to spanish product name we're gonna to go to french product name move columns and we're gonna go across here and we're going to find our descriptions there we go chinese description all the way across to the right which i believe was the turkish description it's going to highlight that and remove the columns right and you can see that there Alternatively, instead of deleting it, what I could have done is I could have just clicked on navigation. So it's going back in time. So I can see all my French descriptions are back. But I think, no, 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 no. I want to go back to removed columns. So you can go back in a linear fashion. You can go back in time. And as I mentioned before, this cog uh, section here, so this little cog I can click on. And then what that will do is it will allow me to change various options with this. So let's give a demonstration. So under the navigation section, let's click on uh, the cog um, just here. And then we can see this is the navigation to different tables. So that's me just moving to different tables. And the source as well is where's the data coming from. I'm just going to give it a click as well. And this is where the data comes through. So these are automatically added on there. Uh, so that's great. So let's go back to my removed columns. I want to go back to this stage on the dim product. That's fine. I'm now going to finish this off by clicking the button here at the top, close and apply. So you can see this button that I'm just going to click here. So let's just click on that. I click on close and apply. It closes down the query editor and it updates my Power BI. So if you have a look now under dim products, in fact, if I just zoom in, so if you just look down and you can look, you can see you've got English description here. There we go. But there's no other foreign languages. If I look down as well, just continue going down, I can see I've got English product name here, but there's not Spanish product name or anything like that. So that's fantastic. So if I go down and I can see there's various off, um, other fields there, but I think, yes, that I've got, oh, I've got a French description there I might need to get rid of. So I'm just going to go back into query editor and sort that one out. So that's the French query, um, French query editor, the French description. So we go to dim products. Where's my French description here? Let's go all the way across to the right. Here it is. I missed that one out. So I'm going to click on that and click on removed columns. And that's that one there. Brilliant. That's fine. I click on close and apply, go that through it. And then if you look, you can see now in over here on the right hand side, the French description has disappeared. So there we go. So when we are wanting to manipulate our business model within Power BI, it's a good idea to use Power Query, clicking on Edit Queries, so that we can make the data model a little bit more easier to manage. Thank you so much for watching.